Babe, your buttons, why are the buttons on your shirt on the back? Just in case. How are you supposed to put them on? <laughs> what? I want to I want to see. How do you how do you button your shirt from the back? Don't be obnoxious. <laughs> All right. You look great, honey. Bye. Bye. We got our man Mark over here. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great day. Mark and I have already been doing a little bit of work. You can't see, you know, who tints their windshield? You can't see any of the interior work that we're doing in here. You can't see anything. I know. But we got the light work in there. All right. So we took the, the lens the off the light, so now it's brighter. Oh, okay. All right. What's going on, guys? We are working on this interior here this afternoon. We've already been started just a little bit. Mark's got the uh, sill over here, and we are dropping down the headliner. As you guys know, little little pin cushion deal here. I think they just ran little staples up in here. We're going to be taking this headliner down. We got somebody coming to rewrap that. Maybe not today, but probably tomorrow. And we are going to be doing something about the carpet. Some of you guys might have seen this in previous videos, but our man Curtis from Canada, he sent us a black carpet for the first gen. So we traded him some Wrenchworks gear, but he sent us the black carpet. So huge thank you to Curtis. Thank you very much. So we are gonna be getting that put in. Now, the only real challenge uh, in doing so is that our shifter is bolted through the floor and the hole for the shifter lever is kind of nicely poked through the carpet. So I actually have to undo the shifter cable in through there, undo this base, undo the switches again, and then Mark, seeing that Mark is here, he's gonna give us a hand. Uh, I have to go down underneath, hold the bolts from the underneath, and he's gonna undo them, and then we'll get that out of the way to replace the carpet. Other than that, the carpet is a fairly easy job. Uh, he already started undoing the screws for here. And then it pretty much just pulls up, right? I think so. See? <laughs> what do you mean you think so? Well, you gave me the short screwdriver to use, and no, I told you, you to use. You I told you to use the good one. The good one's over there. You could have just brought Barney over here. All right, so Mark's pretty much already got the uh, headliner out. What do you need me to do here? I should take that screw out there. Just Can this you, one? Yeah. I don't take know. And I think there's. Yeah, that's it. Just that one. Okay. Here we go. Any day now. It's not fun using the short screwdriver, is it? There we go. Look at that. Here, you want me to take it? Yeah. Here we go. That's Here good. We you go. got no animals living up in it. Oh, that's true, too. Look at how nice this is with no headliner. All right, where am I putting this? All right, so it does look like the base material, whatever that may be, something basically the equivalent of a cardboard, what, what the original owner did, just took a stapler and stapled up into it. So we're gonna get that recovered. I don't think we'll have a hard time getting the original material off here. So that's that. What? Should we not even put a headliner back in it? How nice the inside is. Oh wow, look at that. It's like mint. Wow, nice. I mean, it really is mint. Next up, carpet. Once the carpet goes in, we can finally, peeking over there in the corner, we can finally put our seats in that we've, oh, and the center console. I've said it a million times before, but make sure this weekend is Motorama, the 17th and 18th in Harrisburg. Come out, everybody's gonna be out. Wrenchworks is gonna be out there. We're actually releasing a limited shirt. It is gonna be online as well. We're probably gonna be dropping that Friday or Saturday, I will let you guys know on Wrenchworks Instagram and probably my own, but there's gonna be a limited shirt and that's when we're gonna be coming out with a couple other small things as well as that shirt. So come out, check that. Make sure you're online. Uh, we are getting close to 100K. Uh, so we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some giveaway stuff with that. Uh, Wrenchworks is actually gonna be releasing their spring stuff here very soon as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Today, we actually just finalized. Now this is something that I have to order, I have to wait for to come in it might be huge it might be massive and it might be small but we have finalized a purchase that's going to be coming in three months it's not a truck it's not a truck guys i'm sorry but uh, maybe that's coming down the road too you never know but we finalized that so there are huge big things coming so just make sure you stay tuned because once this winter time is over it's game on and there's gonna be tons of action right mark you're right you didn't sound very convincing there mark no i was trying to take the screw out 
Did you find a big screwdriver, Mark? I found the good screwdriver. You're supposed to. T you, Mark knows about all the fun things coming. He, Mark, you're I, supposed to. You're supposed to sell a little bit harder than that, Mark. Come on. I can't wait till warm weather. Are you kidding me? Mark, what are you going to be racing? Mark's going to be racing something. I definitely am going to be racing. Everybody's going to be racing something once those tracks are open. I don't know what what I'm going to be racing yet, but it's going to be one of the trucks. Or maybe another truck. Who knows? Or maybe one, most likely another truck. I'm going to be 100% honest with everybody. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do a truck that we can just beat on and have a good time with and honestly not care if we break it. Right, exactly. That's the whole point. That's what this was supposed to be too. We're, we we, we got to get this thing. We are going to be P-Pump swapping this truck. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I have all of the parts. I have an adjustable pump gear, uh, ferrule diesel pump, all of the goodies. We're going to be doing that. Uh, but I probably want to try and maybe race this and dyno it with the VE currently maxed out here with this current turbo, and then I think we should P-pump it. Ready? What do you say, Mark? Yes. Should we I, should we do that for a comparison? I yeah. think that, I think that was kind of the whole point but of I mean, of doing this, you know, but I'm very excited to P-pump to be honest with you. So am I. I mean, super excited. I get ahead of myself though. Yeah. And and the new tires are ordered. The new tires are ordered. We are going to be planning another trip down to Dirty Diesels. All of this before Thursday when we get loaded up and ready to leave for Motorama. So, may not seem like a lot, but it's in the details. The details take time. But yeah, Mark needs a cheap truck. All right, so the shifter, look at look at how flat it made the carpet. Very nice. That's funny. So we got the shifter off. We actually had to undo all of the wiring from underneath, which I totally forgot about. So undid the uh, shifter linkage. We just cut it on this one. We're actually gonna make a hole on the nice carpet, but undid all the wiring from here and pretty much ready to Ready to pull this out, I think. Oh, look at that. Right out. Gotta get it from under the uh, throttle pedal there. And she's a little stuck right here, buddy. Yeah. Oh. There's right. a screw. We yeah, missed, might have missed screw. We, 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 we might have missed hey, a screw. Hey, look at this. Did the previous owner leave us I something? I found you a 9 16 wrench. I don't oh. even want to remove it. Like we got to go over here. And a packet of salt. Oh, a packet of salt. Okay, good. We were missing that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This has got to stay. This, is, this has got to go hang on the wall or something. Yeah, that's going to stay with the truck. All right. So... What's actually a lot nicer about the new carpet, besides not being this carpet, is the new carpet actually goes all the way to the back. So we got a little bit of cleanup to do. Pull that out, and uh, heck yeah. Are we gonna yeah. play with the vacuum? You're gonna play with the vacuum? Well, yeah, I don't wanna play I know with... you like vacuum cleaners. No, you like vacuum cleaners. Alrighty, we got everything out. So we did discover just some very slight rub through marks on both sides. Nothing really crazy. Nothing I would even consider anything more than surface rust, but we ground it down. It was barely, barely got even some, surface rust. Got some rust treatment. And then we went with the, uh, the color match stuff that I had. I mean, what did I even have? That? Oh, for the, the, the grill support. We went and put that on there. We're going to let that dry for a couple minutes and we are ready to start installing the carpet. Mark, this is this has taken quite a bit more time than I had originally. That's because you're busy eating peanuts. What? You're no. peanuts. I didn't think that this was kind of, and we still got to we still got to no. trim and cut out all yeah, the carpet. Yeah, no, but we took everything out. Everything got cleaned off. All the glue from the padding and everything got cleaned off. So we're good to go. It's gonna be. Uh, now we just got to uh, stuff in the new carpet, yeah. drill some holes, mount some seats. Ooh, I can't wait. It's gonna, it's gonna look good. Carpet. It's gonna look good. Alrighty guys, it is actually 10 o'clock. We have been working on this carpet, getting it perfect. And man, does it look good. It looks killer. It's dirty, it's dirty, but it looks so good. We got the seat belts back in, got them attached down here. Got the shifter back in. We were missing one bolt, actually we broke it, uh, taking it out. But shifter's back in, cables hooked back up. Uh, bolts are on those three. We just gotta throw one bolt in it. Carpet actually took quite a bit of trimming. It actually fit perfect in the back. And by the way, this carpet was from stockinteriors.com uh, if you guys need one. It fit 
so good. What we did is we lined it up with the back. The back line fit perfectly, perfectly. Uh, this It goes from a flat section and kind of curves into a tunnel. It's kind of hard because it's hard. And then it molds down here. But it is actually molded insanely, insanely well. What we did is we took the time and really, really got up in here and trimmed that perfectly as tight as possible. So we did that on both sides and it, it came out awesome. So that is where we're at. I'll show you guys the other side real quick. Um, I was actually working on getting the cow tracks back in because we lifted up the back end from the original height. Now I need longer bars again. The, they do fit, but they're pretty much almost all the way out on their adjustment. Caltrax recommends, I believe, like three quarters of an inch thread engagement, and I'm pretty positive that we're under that. So uh, for the time being, they will work, but we will need some longer ones, but that's where we're at. Unfortunately, taking the shifter out, all the wiring that's run through there into the trans, that took me quite a long time to then uh, all re-solder, connect back together, um, kind of getting it all cleaned up perfect. Got the wiring underneath the dash, all that cleaned up and perfect. And as you can see, it's fit pretty tight all the way up there. It's actually really, really long when they give it to you but really not that bad. Got the door sills back in. Again, fit is fit is perfect on this thing. It looks awesome. So um, really, all we gotta do is put the holes in, put the center console back in, get the headliner done. Headliner, my man doing the headliner is coming tomorrow. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for tomorrow. The truck he drives, pretty badass. We're gonna go over that, I think, if he drives it, which I'm sure he will. Um, but we're getting, we're, we're closing in, we're closing in. I love the way the black carpet looks. Honestly, the black carpet is is making the rest of everything that's gray, like right here, kinda look look dull. The, the black carpet is really bringing everything together. Um, so who knows, we might have to eventually get an all black interior in this thing but it's looking sick it's looking awesome like i said stay tuned we're gonna be going back down to dirty diesels picking up the new wheels and tires and we are we're coming along make sure you if you guys aren't coming to motorama i don't even know what you're doing this weekend but it better be good because we're all gonna be hanging out it's gonna be awesome it's just gonna be one big hangout it's gonna be awesome Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you would. Subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya.